Good morning, everyone. We are here to discuss the opinions of people based on certain criteria. In my opinion, we can judge people based on their appearance. When a person sees you, they see the outer you, and our minds naturally think, judge, and imagine. It is what we call human nature. Have you guys heard the saying, nothing good comes easy? If you really want to know a person, you have got to look beyond their appearance. Go deeper. There's so much to like about a person, the way they think and the way they make you feel. That's right. Without a good appearance, a person wouldn't be able to improve their self-confidence. But I think that a person's way of talking plays a big part in forming an opinion of a person. In my opinion, a person who talks polite and well-mannered is viewed as the most successful person because talking skills are most important for career success. Talking skills can engage one personal life and thereby bring you the well-round growth and that we should all seek. Do you agree with me, Jagdeep? That's true to a certain extent. I agree with you, but don't get me wrong, Puban. In my opinion, a person's social background is very important too. Most people will judge a person by their social background. The definition of social background where social means relating to society or to the way society is organized. Whereas the background is the kind of family you come from and the kind of education you have had. It can also refer to such things, for instance, type of work experience and your financial status. Moreover, the social background is also related to family orientation, social origin, economic status and work experience which play a big part in forming the opinion of a person. Family orientation is about the principle, morals and values that are present in a family. The value we learn from our parents and relatives will influence our actions. Next is social origin, which means the type of role a person plays in the society or the duties which will identify who you are as a person in the society. Moreover, the next is economic status. It's about a person's material position in the society where if a person possesses assets, property and big money, the person will include themselves in the upper class in the society. If a person can buy things based on things which are more needed, they are classified as middle class or both poor who can't afford in the society. Lastly, work experience is the type of work or condition a person is having, whether a person is having a professional job or a non-professional job. That's absolutely not true. I don't think the social background is the most important thing to form an opinion of a person. In my opinion, we can judge people based on their educational background. For example, when you go for an interview, the interviewer will look at your educational background because that reflects your intelligent level and your social status of a person. If a family consists of respected professionals like doctors, lawyers, accountants and professors, the family reputation is considered a good one. However, first and foremost, a person should have a good educational background in order to establish themselves in a respectable career. I think you are right, Daniel. 
education background has the best role to judge people based on their appearance because it helps people become better citizen, get better paid jobs and shows the difference between good and bad. Education shows us the importance of hard work and at the same time help us grow and develop. Thus, we can shape a better society to live in by knowing and respecting rights, laws and regulation. I suppose that's true. I believe that appearance plays a part in forming the opinion of a person. But the educational background is much more applied than appearance. An educational background helps a person to gain knowledge and improve confidence in life. It also helps them improve their career and personal growth. An educated person can become a great citizen of society. It helps them to take the right decision in life. It's quite clear that people's education background is the best thing to form an opinion of a person because it's the first thing people see in you. Education majorly affects our understanding of difference between right and wrong. An educated person is aware of the consequences of illegal action and he is less likely to get influenced and do something which is not legally. If you are educated, you are aware of your rights, the law and your responsibility towards the society. Moreover, soci society expects you to go to school, followed by college, get a job and set it up. In fact, education helps you become a useful member of society. An educated member certainly has a greater chance to contribute to his community. Education helps you become an active member of society and participate in the ongoing changes and developments. Hence, educational background is an important factor which contributes to social harmony and peace. Do you agree with me, Jagdeep? Yes, I'd like to agree with Daniel. I feel that a person's educational background plays a very big role and nowadays people judge a person based on their education qualification. Educational background such as secondary education, college education or pursuing undergraduate or postgraduate education plays a vital role in making a person to have a bright and successful life in the future. Right, so we all agree that the person education is the most we tend to form an opinion based on the certain criteria. Does anyone have to, anything else to say? Otherwise, let's bring this discussion to a close. Thank you for your contribution to this discussion.